Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. Time for a beer review and we're off to Elusive Brewing. Never had anything from Elusive Brewing, so certainly wouldn't have reviewed anything from Elusive Brewing. I know a lot of beer reviewers uh, say good things about Elusive Brewing, so I thought it was high time that I got one in. So I picked this one up on Trembling Madness. The one we're looking at is called Fog City. It's a New England Pale. Uh, they do, and it's 5% ABV, they do have great artwork on their cans they really do it's quite a lot of writing on the side i'm not going to read it all now however let's give you the price elusive brewing new england pale ale four pound twenty four pound twenty so let's crack on with it let's get reviewing let's get it in the glass have a look so she looks and sniffs and tastes it certainly looks pale almost lemon in color from here here we go Bit left at cool, that does smell strong. Bit left in the bottom, we'll get that in before we start drinking it, hopefully. So let's have a look. Nice big bubbly head. Yeah, it's orange in colour. Bordering sort of lemony colour, lemon to orange. Very hazy, can't see any carbonation. That is proper hazy. That almost looks thick. I mean, it's not gonna be, but it does look it. Let's get a rest in. What's that? There we go, that is all in. And yeah, there was definitely kind of sediment in the bottom because it's changed, because little clouds forming under here where I've just poured that last bit in. Let's have a sniff of this bad boy. Proper juicy, that smells like it should be a lot stronger in ABV. Very tropical, very citrus, big grapefruit, big stone fruits. Certainly peach, there's orange, grapefruit. I've got a sneaky feeling this is gonna be super smooth. It just looks like it should be a bigger ABV. Let's have a taste, just to stop waffling on and let's get on with it, cheers. That's very nice. Mm. good carbonation you can't see the carbonation in it but it has got really good carbonation the body is so much bigger than a five percent now i say that there's a thinness to it once it's gone it fit you know the flavors go but when it's in your gob it does feel like quite a, a full mouthfeel but as soon as you've swallowed it it does kind of go thin uh, and the flavors do drop off fairly quickly uh, i'm guessing that's got oats in it there is a smoothness to it that's kind of giving that mouth a bit more of body is to it as well so I'm guessing there's oats in there it has got a piney resinous finish on the back which I really like gives it a bitterness it's very clean it does taste good flavor wise the flavors are decent I just all about that back end for me it's got a lovely kind of resinous pine bitter back end which is really really good flavor wise you have got quite a big citra here it's definitely big on the grapefruit there's definitely again similar to the aroma you've got the stone fruits in there kind of peach is in there apricot type vibes going on uh, but mainly about the citra but it has got peach it has got apricot there is elements of orange to it but it's mainly about the citra it has definitely got citra hops in it without a doubt it's got a big kind of grapefruit feel giving it a bit of a piffy on that back where I said it was kind of piney and resinous, there's a pithiness to it as well, uh, which is decent. So yeah, people are singing the right tune about Elusive Brewing, all these other beer reviewers that reviewed Elusive. They're right, they're good beers. Uh, that is very, very nice. Let's see what it does say on the side. Elusive Brewing creates beers with one eye on tradition and the other on taking things to the next level. Insert coin to play. I get bored of those silly little phrases. Insert coin to play. That people put on their beer cans I don't know some people obviously enjoy it uh, this soft and juicy pale ale is brewed in the New England style with plenty of oats and wheat there you go I knew it had oats in it just tell that by looking at it uh, we use citra there we go I was right about the citra and chinook hocks in the whirlpool then dry hopped with more citra and Australian eclipse not sure of what Australian eclipse hops are all about uh, but it certainly tastes good imagine I don't know if they're giving it that stone fruit stuff 
Expect notes of citrus and grapefruit with a stone fruit undertone. Serve in your favourite glass and enjoy straight from the fridge. Brewed and packed at Double Barrelled Brewery in Reading, Berkshire. Uh, yeah, that's a good beer. That is a good beer. Thoroughly enjoyable. Um, there, there you go. Elusive Brewing. Fog City, New England Parallel. 5% ABV. Decent. See you on the next one. Bye now.